Hey everyone and welcome back to the single sim challenge in The Sims 4. So we are once again starting off with Emmanuel waking up but this time he's in a real bad mood simply because he's really really hungry but before and once again he's throwing a tantrum I feel like he's going to be quite a hot-headed kid just like his mother. Uh, but anyway, I would like for him to first, before he goes and asks for food to his mom, I really want for him to go... <laughs> and there you go, another tantrum. I really want for him to go and use the bathrooms because uh, he's really close, I think, from reaching the level 3. Uh, yes, he's really, really close. And I think today we can manage to reach the level 3 of all of his skills. And I would like for Emmanuel and Addison to go to the park. Because I went ahead and added the the jungle gym for toddlers at the Oasis main park. You know, the big park that you have in the middle of the map. And I also added a dollhouse over there so that we can see what Emmanuel can do with those. And it's also Addison's last day off of work. So we need to spend as more as most time as much time, sorry, with her as we can so that we can become good friends with her. And so as soon as he's done using his potty chair, I would like for him... I'm going to come to this without an adult assistance. Oh, he needs to go and wake up his mother. He's going to do that as soon as he's done using the potty chair. But because he's angry, I'm not sure he's going to manage and reach the level 3. At least you know he went potty. He wants to watch Alison. No, he did not manage to reach the, the level 3 of the party skill. Well, oh well. You know, we can try to do that once again, one more time, and hopefully he'll be in a better mood. And he'll reach the level 3. That will be one less thing, you know, to do before he ages up into a child. Well, let's go and ask for food. Otherwise, he's in a real good mood, you know, and Alison, she went to bed around 4 a.m. So she's she's been sleeping for like four hours and throughout the entire night, she had just a couple drinks from the sink. She also was really angry because of her hot-headed trait. I, I think she's getting angry most of the time during the night. I don't really know why. Maybe, you know, because she's alone and she's just angry of being alone and... I don't know, maybe she struggles to create relationships with people around her and maybe this is why she's getting really tired of herself because of this. As for food, your food is coming. You're going to have some chicken nuggets once again. So I'm really excited to go to the park and check the jungle gym because it's definitely an item that I don't usually usually use, you know, because I, once again, I don't usually play as a toddler and even with my families, you know, I never really think about adding a, a jungle gym somewhere for the toddlers to play with and because I focus on so many th many sims when I'm playing on my own that I don't really think about that so I'm really curious to see what Emmanuel can do with that and he also really needs to focus on his thinking skill but because he pretty much reaches the the next level of all of his skills every day since his birthday is in I think in five days or something four days we may maybe Succeed in reaching the level 5 of all of his skills, which would be really exciting. And look at that. Alison is really taking a good care of herself. Is he going to play with the food? No, please do not play with the food. Do not throw the food away. You're really, really hungry. Oh, not so much anymore. I guess the chicken nuggets really fill, fill him pretty well, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm not that worried about Alison anymore because she really takes a nice care of herself. So we need some thinking skill. Maybe we can ask mom to flash cards and hopefully this is going to work on their on their relationship. Learn basic needs. Oh, she broke the bowl. That's okay. And she seems to be in a very good mood. Also, I controlled her just once to clean the potty chair as you may have realized because it was dirty towards the end of the last part and this morning it was clean. This is because I just controlled her to clean that. Otherwise she just did everything else on her own. Okay, so let's go and learn some things from mom and let's see if he, you know, if he's <laughs> as good as he was with the nanny or he, if he's, you know, just pretending to not be as good with his mom so that she can spend more time with him. Let's see. Oh, okay, so now he knows. Maybe he wants to encourage her and show her, see, I know. I remember what you told me. Oh no, he didn't know this one. He wants to watch Allison and play with a toy. We can do that. I really think he's pretending with his mom that he doesn't know what she's showing him. 
This is not a pet, this is a broccoli. He really has a problem with broccoli. <laughs> I don't know why. No. Yeah, I, f I really think he struggles more with his mom than he does with the nanny, just because he wants to spend more time with her. And maybe we can play with the dollhouse with mom this way, their relationship can go up even more. Also, I realized that the gameplay with Emmanuel is maybe not the most exciting because he's mainly just learning things and I'm trying to not make things as repetitive as they are, but I really think it's interesting to see how things are through the, the eyes of a toddler and this is why I really want to go and check out the jungle gym and see what a toddler can see. And maybe we can go back once he's higher in, in his imagination skill to see if things are a little bit different. Because I think the drawing, the drawings that fly around the toddler's head, you know, when they're playing, are a little bit more defined once their imagination skill is higher. Okay, let's go and watch mom because this works as well on his thinking skill. Okay, so this went, this went up, this went up fairly well. And I'm sorry, I'm struggling to talk today. Oh, she's going to eat something. She really takes such a good care of herself, though there's a bunch of books everywhere. <laughs> oh well, let's go play with the toy. Play with toy, uh, the... No, I would like to go with the Triceratops, Teresa. Also, I don't think we're going to get a heat wave today. Also, I forgot to tell you, but I added a couple of holidays. So, Emmanuel is supposed to age up on Sunday. And the next day, I decided to place a spooky day. This way we can, you know, play with... Emmanuel as a child, maybe wear a costume and trick-or-treat and stuff like that. Just, you know, spooky day. That could be fun. And also I added Spring Fest, though by this time I think Emmanuel will be a teenager. Which is why I added baking and maybe he can try that with his mom. Though, as a teenager, if you, if you want to go and check out the rules, Emmanuel will change quite a bit. But we'll have to see if this will happen right away when he'll be a teenager. We'll have to see. But I decided to just add these to these couple other days because I think it's going to be quite interesting to play with those. And I think I said this in the in the first part. I don't usually play with holidays anymore because it becomes really repetitive. So because Emmanuel is going to be a child, when you're a child, you know, you sp holidays have a more a huge impact on your life, especially. Christmas and Halloween, I have fond memories of these holidays, but now that I, that I am older, these holidays do not have the same impact on me, if that makes sense. So that's why I think it's important for Emmanuel to go through all these holidays while he's a child, and maybe when he'll be a young adult, maybe I can just remove the holidays, and when, he, when he'll be a father, maybe I can add them again so that he can celebrate these holidays with his children, I don't know, but I really think it's important for for Emmanuel to go through all of this. So since he's playful, apparently he's gaining more imagination. Look at that, his movement skill, he's really close from reaching the level 3 of everything. I'm probably just going to wait for him to use the potty chair again before we go to the park. I mean, we have the entire day. There you go, level 3! Emmanuel can now name toys, dolls, and stuffed animals. Cool, so this is Blarfy, right? Yes, we can rename Blarfy. I don't really know if I want to rename Blarfy. If you have any name suggestions, please leave them in the comments section. I would like to see if you have any ideas other than Blarfy for this... for this teddy bear. I don't really know. I had something like that when I was younger. Though because I'm French, the name of the... of this toy was Nounours. Pretty much like bear. I don't know. <laughs> like a cute cutie name for bear. Like teddy bear, probably. But it was the... the name that I gave to this big bear I actually learned how to sit sit on this on this bear, which was really really cool. But yeah, I think we can manage to reach the level three of all of his skills today. Do you need to go and use the potty chair? Maybe we can. Let's go. Let's ask for potty help help maybe to Addison. And maybe this is going to work on their relationship a little bit. Okay, so he he really likes sitting on his bed when he wants to ask things to his mom apparently. Okay, let's go. Let's go use the potty. Oh my. Going through the wall here. Let's go use the potty chair and improve our relationship. Is he going to reach level 3? I think he will. There you go, reach potty level 3. Emmanuel has mastered potty training. He will always try and use the potty chair instead of the diaper. Yay! 
He's tired though. Maybe he can take a quick nap before going to the park. And because we are in summer and in the desert, I feel like going to the park later in the evening is a better idea. Simply because it's going to be really, really hot outside. So maybe taking a quick quick nap before going to the park will be nice. And this way the weather is going to be more enjoyable for him. Oh, potty accident. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just have Allison clean the potty chair. But yeah, he's just going to take a quick nap before going to the park and see what he can do with the with the jungle gym. And by playing in the jungle gym, I think he's going to control more his movement skill. Though look at look at that, he's at 98%. Also, he needs to work on communication. Maybe just talking to his mom would be enough. And we could flash the cards once again. Where is Allison? She's in the kitchen. Okay, I'm just going to speed up the time a little bit and see what Allison is going to do. So she's going to clean up the books. But yeah, as you can see, she reads a lot during the night. And she usually takes a nap when Emmanuel... Oh, look at that! She always does that as well during the night. But she likes to take a nap later later in the evening, you know, like in at 11pm or maybe midnight. Then she wakes up again, she eats a little bit, then she reads a little bit and then she goes to bed finally. Okay, so Emmanuel is up, it's 5 p.m. So I think it's time to go and travel to the park and I will show you what I've done what I've done with this park. So we're going to go to the Desert Bloom Park and as you can see I've placed a rink and there's a couple more things for the children and the toddlers to do in this park. So I will see you there. We are now at the park and Emmanuel is still really sad because of his potty accident. That's that's really sad. Uh, but anyway, so as you can see, I've placed the dollhouse over here and I like this one for outside because it looks kind of plasticky and I think if it rains, it's okay, you know, it's not going to be destroyed. Um, and then here, as you can see, there is the jungle gym for toddlers. So I changed just a little bit, a few things around so that it could suit. Oh, look at that level three just by playing with his mom. She wanted to cheer him up. When I'm saying that she's an amazing mother, I mean, you can see it here. So let's see, what can you do now? Emmanuel can now walk faster and dance to music. Yay! I don't think we have a stereo at the house. This is definitely something that maybe we can add so that he can dance. But yeah, we have the the jungle gym here. So as soon as he's done playing with his mother, maybe we can go and play in the jungle gym. Maybe she's going to come and play with him. I don't know if this is going to increase their relationship. <laughs> Also with parenthood, I really wonder what relationship they will have when Emmanuel will age up into, into a young adult. He wants to tell a joke about chicken butts. I don't know if he can. Talk about princesses. Sure. Talk about superheroes. Let's see. Funny. Now he can still only make funny faces, but he's really close from reaching the level 3. So let's try to reach the level 3 and see if he can... Oh, he's energized. Revved up. It's fun to rough house. It feels like anything is possible. <gasps> they just became good friends! There you go! Now we just need to work on all of his skills to reach the level 3 and hopefully maybe reach the level 5 of 2 skills. And then we'll be done with the toddler life stage. Oh my god, that's amazing! Talk about favorite color. Let's go and make funny faces again. I wonder if I'm not going to give him the goofball trait when he'll be aging up. Level 3! There you go! Emmanuel can now talk. He can talk about toys, talk about trucks, yell at and say nonsense to others. He can ask for desert. He can learn other social socials by increasing other skills as well. Cool! Oh, there you go! Joke about chicken butts. Dancing. Oh no, he's just going to wander around, sure. So there's just the thinking skill. It's always the last skill that I managed to, to work on for some reason. Uh, I'm just going to keep this one up because I really want to be able to tell jokes about chicken butts to mom. Play make-believe. Uh, I mean, there's a spaceship here, so let's go make-believe spaceport. Let's see, it can, can mom join? I don't know if I can ask her to join. There you go! Look at that! So I think it's not well defined because he's only at level 3. But look at that! There's some bubbles, there's the moon. 
This is probably Saturn. A bunch of stars. That's so amazing, and he's having so much fun! And I would love for mom to come and join. Okay, I'm just going to pause the game, find mom. Can you join? Kal Kalova, play, and say nonsense. I don't think I can. Oh, that sucks. I would have liked for mom to come and play with him. I think she can have, you know, this helmet that astronauts have when they go into space. And I don't know if I showed you, but this is the rink. I've placed it here. I barely removed any plants, so I think it's made for this space. And I don't know, I feel like it suits a lot to this neighborhood. Rather than having an ice rink, because, you know, it's the desert. Look at that! He's sliding so much better than he did before. And let's go into the ball pit. Play in the ball pit. And then I would like to see if what happens when he plays with the dollhouse, because even though the dollhouses have been in the game since the game came out, I barely ever play with those. <laughs> oh my god, he's having so much fun. <laughs> Yay! Sorry for the phone ringing. There you go, it's over. Yay! Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go, he's done. He's getting a little bit hungry, but we can maybe just go and play with the dollhouse. Play dolls with... Can we play dolls with someone? Or is Allison just coming and... Yes, she's going to join him? No? Oh no, she's just going to clean the mess of another kid. Play dolls with Allison. There you go. I don't know why it did not work at first. Come on, play with Allison. Look at these two. Yay! He's playing with mom! Oh my god, Alison seems to be angry at the dolls. Oh, this is adorable. I wonder if it's also working on their relationship. I mean, they're now good friends, so that's okay. Oh my god, he's so hungry. We should actually think about heading back home before he throws another tantrum in front of everybody. Oh, and she's getting tired as well, so... Oh, and it's 10 p.m. She works tomorrow. Well, I think I've seen everything I wanted to see. Uh, maybe he can just crawl through before. Let's go and crawl through. And then we're going to go home. We can come back later. I don't think we can come back with the nanny, though. But because Allison goes to work... Oh, yay! I would like to take a screenshot of this. Look at him, he's so adorable! But yeah, because Alison goes to work at 3pm, maybe we can come back to the park another day early in the morning? Yay! Climb? I don't really know what climb does. <laughs> I think Emmanuel will see life in a very bright side. Like, he's always going to be very optimistic. Alright, it's time to go back home because he's really hungry and tired. Emmanuel and Alison are back at the house, so let's go and ask mom for food. Food, please! Oh, actually he has two moodlets. Kaboom! From the ball pit. A fun explosion of colored balls. And made silly from his silly trait and of course he's really angry. And actually, hangry. <laughs> I can make this mistake whenever he has this moodlet. Because I kind of struggle with uh, angry and hungry. I don't know why, it's these two words, I really struggle with both of those. Oh, she's so tired. Hopefully she'll go to bed earlier tonight. Oh my god, there you go, another tantrum. How are... Yes, his emotional control is really getting down. That could be really interesting though if he has uncontrolled emotions. 
But if he if he ever ends up with this trait and he becomes famous, oh no, he's falling asleep on his chair. Look at Alison, she's like, finally he's asleep. Uh, but yeah, if he ever becomes famous, not saying that I want for him to become famous. Actually, I'm not even sure I can manage to to do something like that because the famous system in The Sims 4 is so complicated and difficult. I think. Um, if he ever has this trait, he might get the emotion bomb quirk and this can become really difficult to deal with him in the future but we'll have to see this is far far ahead in the future oh actually he will need to go and use the potty chair can we go potty i know you're tired just wait a second plus he threw he threw his food on the ground oh I guess, you know, this is what happens when you have a child and you go to the park with them, you know, they become uncontrollable. uncontrollable. Is that a word? I guess it is. But yeah, they're unbearable when you go to the park with them, like it's... They're just nerve bombs at, the, at this point. Come on, can we go potty? Yep, we need to get out of the chair. Thanks, mom. Yeah, he walks a little bit faster. Well, that was a huge mess. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then let's go and sleep. No sleepy time, no night stories, not, a, not nothing. He's just too tired. I mean, he's just going to lie down and fall asleep. Alright, so I'm going to see you in the morning. Oh, and Alison just went to bed right away. Really happy to see her go to sleep earlier than she usually does. All right, it's the, it's the next morning and Emmanuel is once again waking up very angry because he's hangry <laughs> once again. Or actually, no. Ravenous from critically low hunger. Emmanuel needs food now. We have 16 hours probably before he gets taken away. So let's go and wake up mom, ask for food. Things are definitely getting a little bit more difficult. But he's taking a good care of himself as well. Like, these sims are so smart. Oh, and she's hungry as well. Yes, it's getting a little bit more difficult to deal with all of them, but you know, that's okay. Let's go and get some food. Oh, and that's disgusting. I'm just going to drag that into into the bin. There you go. And because she slept, actually she slept through the entire night. So I guess her energy energy need is pretty nice. She's just really hungry, so let's go and get some food. Oh, she's still very, very hungry. So before I end the part, I would like to just manage to reach the level 3 of thinking skill and hopefully next part we'll manage to reach the level 4 of most of his skills. I mean, we only have 4 other skills to focus on. And if we can, try to reach the level 5. But at least, you know, we've accomplished pretty much everything that I wanted to accomplish with, uh, with Emmanuel as a toddler. And apparently Alison did not want to eat breakfast with her son. She wanted to be alone. I guess she's, it's because she's in a bad mood and she just needs to be alone for a little while like she didn't have this time you know usually in the night she's just reading books and stuff and she has kind of an alone time and she didn't have that yesterday because she was so tired and he's calling her she cannot have one moment of peace poor Allison. so yeah things are definitely getting a little bit more difficult for her let's go use the potty chair is she going to teach him? You, you know you were you were about to finish eating something, so let's go back and eat, probably. No? He's watching his mom. Yes, working on your thinking skill. Let's go do shapes. Work for Allison starts in about an hour. Okay, so I'm once again going to control her just quickly so that she can call the nanny. Hire a service. There you go. The nanny, and then she'll go to work. And the nanny will be there. Hopefully the nanny will be nicer. Because, I mean, last night, last time they were nice. But they just yelled at him when they arrived. And I don't know why. Alright, let's just try to reach the level 3 of the thinking skill. Oh, why are you so playful? But, but, but. You know what? Chicken butt. Haha, <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> Did you tell a joke about chicken butts? Talk about favorite color, definitely. And he's always making his mother playful. 
like he always tries to make her happy. I really see Emmanuel eventually becoming a very family guy and being really very attentive to the, the needs of his family. So is the did the nanny arrive or are, are they invisible? I don't know. They must be somewhere. Usually the first thing that a nanny does is go to into the kitchen. So if we see something floating around, that means that the nanny is somewhere. Yeah, I think I'm having this weird glitch when the nanny is invisible. I don't know why. Oh no, 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 no. You're so close. What's, what's that? What's that? And what's that? Hello, how are you doing? Today it's delightful to see you again. Thanks. But where are you? Where is the nanny? <laughs> I think the nanny is invisible. There you go! Reached thinking level 3. Emmanuel can now learn numbers from flashcards with adults. Emmanuel can now sleep better through the night. Oh yes, that's right, because toddler actually- Yes, look at that! The nanny is invisible! Oh my god. Invisible nanny! Oh no. Well, what, what you need to do actually, I'm going to show you. So the nanny technically is here, you just go into manage world and I'm actually going to save because I don't want to lose the fact that Emmanuel reached the level 3 of all of his skills. But you just go back into into the world view and then load back onto the onto the lot and the nanny should appear. Hopefully. At least this is how I've been dealing with this weird glitch for the past for the past month or so. Ever since I've realized it was happening. There you go, the nanny is right there. So this is a good way to take care of this of this weird glitch. Oh, and Ira just became good friends with Addison. Good to know. But yes, so Emmanuel just finally reached the level 3 of all of his skills. Now, hopefully next time we'll be able to reach the level 4. I mean, he's really close from level 4 of movement and imagination as well. I feel like he's going to be really creative. Communication, thinking once again is just one of these skills that I struggle with the most. But I'm just going to have him study shapes again and I think I'm going to keep the rest of the day for the next part because I don't want for this part to end up being so long. Just like I did with the, the last part, I'm sorry about that by the way. I'm trying to, you know, control the time that I'm playing with this family but I'm just enjoying this time so much with them. But we're going pretty well with this challenge so far and Emmanuel will age up in three days which is really exciting so I think within a couple of parts he'll be a child. And I'm so excited for this because I have planned a few things for him as a child and I'm just really excited to finally be able to play with that as well, so yay! Thank you so much guys for watching this video, for hang hanging out with me today and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone!